Welcome back, VST here, NSP Tech. You might already have heard that Samsung are apparently holding up the June update for several countries inside the EU, probably also for other countries and regions due to some errors encountered. This is all over the internet, so I'm not gonna bother you with this. I wanna show you guys in this video how to check your phone's version and where to check if the software is released or not. So guys, if you go inside your settings, right, and you go about your phone, there's gonna be here this model number, right? So that's the first thing that we need. Then we need to understand what exactly does this mean. I found this very nice article on Core, guys. It showcases all the differences. So SMS918, this is the S23 Ultra, okay? The B model is only sold in Europe, Asia, or Africa. The B suffix typically indicates an international or global model. So we have this one, we might as well be living in Europe, Asia, or Africa. It may come with a single SIM card slot then. My model is the SM918DS. This model is also sold in Europe, okay? Also in uh, Asia and Africa, but it has two SIM card slots, okay? And then we have the SM918U, which can be sold in the United States, all right? And this is very important, guys. Uh, this U suffix is often used for carrier-specific models. So this means that if you get a U model, guys, then it might be carrier lock, which means that, you know how it goes with uh, the phones that are carrier lock, they have some specific tweaks for their ROMs, the firmwares usually come a bit later. Then this is also very important, uh, SMS91U1, this may be another model is sold in the EOS unlock version. In the past, what we have been doing, buying off some U phones and trying to debrand them by converting them and just flashing with owning the U1 ROM, Okay, I'm not saying you have to do this, but this was an option. Then we have the SM918W model sold in Canada. Then we have the version for the United Arab Emirates, the S918E and the S918E DS, which is again, Middle East. Now, how all this relates to the tools that I'm using. So I just go inside some mobile, some firmware, and I'm just going to the model that I'm using, which is this one. Then, what do I know, guys? I can see here the country or the carrier, right? And then I can see here the date, but what is most important, guys, I can see here the PDA number. So we all know that the latest June update has the AWF1, at least what has been released in Thailand, because remember, I changed my CEC to Thailand to be able to download and install the ROM. Then I went back to U. EX, which is originally my CSC. Now, how do I check some of the other models if I have? So if you, let's say, uh, live in the United States and you have the U1 unlock version, you click here, sadly, no June update. Canada, no June update. All carrier locked in the US, no June update. The one that are ending up with N, what was this N, cannot remember anymore, but again, no June update. And also the one in China, guys, no June update. So right now, from what I see here on the screen, the June update has been released for the Philippines. Also, by the way, for the Philippines open now, which is probably a carrier. Then for Thailand, for Vietnam, <coughs> Malaysia, and also Indonesia, guys, which means that according to what I see here, nobody else is, is getting the June update because maybe they found some errors they need to clear up whatsoever. The other thing that I use, guys, there is a tool called some firmware, some firm tool. You can actually, some firmware is another thing, but some firm tool, you can just download it and it will show you right all the available firms for your specific phone in my case i'm always typing that's the model here all right and if i want to type the region thf for thailand and i check for the updates i'm going to get here okay this is the latest firmware so we know it's awf1 potentially you can download it and use Orient to flush it i'm not going to show any of this in this video it's uh, a lot of story but this is how it works so here you put your model name and here in region you put your country or CC number. So right now, those are the only countries that got the June update. Let's hope something will fix it. And they probably issue it with even another version. So it may be that if you are like me already on the AWF1, we're gonna get the latest one. Who knows, uh, it's gonna be AWF2. We don't know, right? Or they probably use the same code, push it. We still have to see. Okay, short video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, VST over and bye. Thank you.